Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marco Ceccarelli. I'm a professor at the University of Cassino in Italy. And uh, it's uh, my pleasure today to, uh, to uh, present uh, the uh, activity and the result of our project Heritage Bot for uh, developing a service robot in assistance of a cultural heritage activity. The paper uh, presents the result of this project that is a project that is founded by the regional government of our territory in near Rome, Latium. And the main result uh, that I will present today is the uh, robot design of the heritage bot platform that we have developed for demo purpose. The characteristic of this uh, robotic platform is uh, uh, with the feature of low cost construction and user oriented performance. Actually, uh, the, the, as you can see from uh, the, um, the authors on this slide, we have uh, uh, a, a multidisciplinary uh, team coming from uh, the LARM, robotic, uh, robotic uh, laboratory of uh, robotic uh, mechatronics. We have uh, people coming from uh, the Imprendi Lab which is the laboratory of uh, entrepreneurship activity. People coming from uh, the laboratory of uh, architecture uh, representation and people coming from the laboratory of uh, finance uh, development. Uh, the, um, the Heritage Bot project is characterized by this multidisciplinary content coming from uh, these four teams of the four labs, which are related to architecture, robotics, entrepreneurship, and finance. Uh, so that the, the project has been developed with uh, uh, plans in activity with the technical and not technical contents. As I told you uh, before, the final goal is the development uh, of a robotic platform that should be wireless for a teleoperation equipped with suitable sensor and with a, a specific mobility that is uh, uh, obtained by integration of a locomotion system by legs and a small flight module with uh, propellers uh, 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 helicopters. And the final uh, um, application of the system is related to uh, monitoring issues in operation intervention, intervention in cultural heritage frame. As you know, in Italy, we are full of these uh, archeological areas, but also of monuments of all kinds of uh, types. And uh, the possibility to use robotic system is uh, as a service operation is expected to Im improve the quality and uh, uh, the efficiency of the action in terms of survey or survey mainly in uh, uh, unsafe product in the sense that there are environments which are not easy for a human operator uh, in uh, not accessible areas uh, is uh, other expected uh, application is a visual inspection with a remote interface that can be suitable in uh, uh, in situation in which also is a risky that an operator could be there um, and also uh, the, um, the possibility to use this kind of equipment in, a, uh, in, uh, in uh, conditions and uh, accidental areas like we have experienced recently in Italy for the earthquake in the central Italy. And of course, uh, one other application is the possibility to have a, a monitor a serv a service system that can uh, help to check the uh, cultural heritage goods with uh, some of uh, these um, operation uh, activity. Well, this figure one that you can see here summarizes both the structure of the project, uh, of the project which is planned in two years with the four team of different uh, uh, disciplinary area. Here you see the, uh, the summarized the content that uh, are expected with technical and not technical aspect. Like for example, we have a sensor application tech and design issue from technical uh, issue, uh, views and technological transfer looking at the sharing and legal issue 
coming from uh, entrepreneurship uh, 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 issues and market exploration look, uh, uh, linked to the financial uh, aims of uh, a practical implementation of our design. The heritage platform will be designed um, for, uh, for uh, a result that include dissemination of the results in terms also of uh, development of knowledge and design uh, achievement. We shall, do, we shall plan demo test with the prototype, and today I will explain some preliminaries. And finally, uh, we should um, uh, implement the result for uh, practical and the user experience and the planning enterprise transfer with uh, in protection of intellectual property and also startup of companies for the uh, implementation of the system. Actually, one, one important point is the dissemination of the result to a wide public because in Italy we think that the people should be aware of what can be done in the, in the, uh, in the archaeological areas. So uh, the target for cultural uh, heritage is, uh, as you can be seen in this, um, this slide, the capability of, uh, of the system to act uh, in autonomous or supervision operation, to be able to uh, operate a small intervention also on the material of the uh, cultural edge frames, and the possibility to host different instruments for a variety of investigations. In this case, uh, that is, uh, we just make some example of uh, with typical equipment in survey operation. Therefore, we need a modularity of the robotic platform and the mobility capacity in work and small flight that can be uh, uh, an integration uh, for this uh, operation skill. And also the other uh, issue is that the, the design of the platform should be at the skill reach of the user, which are not technical people. So we are planning to use a joystick or easy pro programming teach pendant with a joystick. Furthermore, the cost of the platform should be a proper level of budget cost for the potential users who are in general historian, archaeologists, or, uh, um, or uh, operators who are um, devoted to, uh, to archaeological site or to maintenance of monument of cultural heritage goods. And finally, the target is also to develop a new solution that can be uh, affordable also for, uh, um, for efficient technological stuff. For this purpose, it is fundamental to have a demonstrative prototype which is under construction with uh, basic uh, instrumentation for, uh, for uh, the, uh, the demos. Here, there is the summar summarize of what we have taught within the project in terms of locomotion, small flight, user-oriented uh, operation structure and user-oriented operation. So we think to have a, a modular design, which the leg module is uh, based on a, uh, on a design of a working tripod parallel architecture that has been developed at the laboratory of uh, Alarm. The drone module is using a quadrocopter system. The service or platform should be uh, obtained with a, a module for control and operation uh, architecture, uh, hosting also the, the necessary uh, sensor equipment. Likewise, the teleprogramming and the operation should be performed by uh, within the, this module. Here is a, the summarize of the conceptual design, which is also protected by patent painting for the wall design in three modules. So you see here the module, the central unit with all the equipment for control and sensing. You include also a small uh, uh, manipulator arm, the, uh, the module for uh, the small flight with the quadrocopter units and the working uh, unit with the four legs. Here is a, a, a design, a mechanical design of uh, our uh, prototype under construction with this, uh, uh, with this uh, final structure. As you can see, you have the drone module, the legged module, 
and the sensing, the sensor that which are distributed on the platform for uh, the operational purpose. The specification uh, are here summarized in terms of a basic performance. I may say that the dimensions are, are, should be uh, within a, a box of uh, 50 centimeters. The total weight is supposed to be less than 10 kilos, including all the instrument for, uh, for the application. And uh, uh, the, 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 the estimation, estimated operating time should be within half an hour uh, with uh, a, tele, a, a maximum distance of uh, 100, 100 meters. Here is the, uh, the first prototype of a proof concept device that we are presenting in this paper. As you see, the, uh, the overall feature is that the cost has been less than 10 euros as for the component that has been used in this, uh, uh, in this prototype. Again, the size is well uh, small, but enough uh, to host uh, also sensor of suitable uh, capacity. The total weight in this case is five kilos, including two kilos for the battery. In this case, for this light design, we assume we are um, designing for two hours of function uh, for uh, this kind of uh, uh, capability. Here you see a, a, a simulation that has been used also to design the system in which the system has a working capability, a small flight module in order to uh, overpass obstacle, but also to, uh, to uh, increase the payload as a floating unit. Here is a summary of the control architecture that I used for the drone module on the left for the lock, lock, uh, leg working module on the right. So you can uh, observe that the, each engine, each motor is uh, independent from the, each other. And there is always a, a, a unit controller that uh, um, uh, coordinate the action of all the motors. The, loco uh, the locomotion strategy, like uh, the, 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 um, the small flight of controller is using uh, PID uh, control algorithm with the stun capability by using motor. Here you see the leg, the, the unit leg design with the three linear actuators that are used from the market and with the, the proper motion stroke of the system. Here you see one of the preliminary tests with the four leg installed on the platform. We, this test is on the air, but just to give you the the, the idea of uh, the motion coordination that can be achieved by the four leg uh, independently and in coordination. Way. Here is a, a preliminary test that you cannot, uh, actually it's a pity that you cannot see, but the four motor for the propeller are running also in independent way, simulating different orientation of the platform during the, the motion, replicating what you have seen for the, um, the simulation. Here is the specific design of the platform that has been made. As you can see here, there is a module for each leg and for each uh, helix of the drone that can be combined on the, the main platform of the system so that uh, all the platform can be easily assembled together. Another important uh, activity of uh, this uh, project is related to the technological transfer and the entrepreneurial opportunity. The project activity was developed through meetings with operator at different, uh, in different frames, presentation of the technological solution to a wide public and the potential user, and using the open science citizenship uh, uh, um, approach in order to uh, get uh, involve the uh, potential user, but also the public in order to get also some feedback. 
at the level of implementation for entrepreneurship goals, we could define a minimal set of characteristics that can be used to attract potential user and in terms of customer or uh, of uh, investor. So we decide to, for the modular design that I just saw, show you, we, we, which has also the possibility to implement a low cost and high cost sensor as depending of different budget and task for the application and the user. Also, we, we were looking for the, mess, uh, the most suitable business model in order to, to make uh, the possibility to a practical implementation uh, at entrepreneurial level with uh, uh, transfer uh, as a technological uh, property, but also as a start of a company that can, can, uh, can exploit the, 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 the solution. We find that uh, at the moment, at least in Italy, the most convenient uh, possibility is to provide the, the system with leasing and training because the potential user uh, in the area of cultural heritage, they don't have enough, uh, enough possibility to, uh, to attach the system. So the activity result was uh, uh, to uh, work out a lean business plan also with, uh, uh, with interaction with master student so that we could uh, define a uh, um, specific point in terms of operation, marketing, and financial aspect. We could uh, identify the peculiarity for a start company initiation in terms of a concept that are related to innovation, uncertainty, and financial source in order to overpass these limits. And we find out that uh, the key factor for that are the possibility to, uh, to look for financing from the field of robotics, but with the peculiarity of uh, cultural heritage operator involved in this activity. And this can be done with the help of non-traditional investors in, these, uh, in the either two areas, or by using business angels, the, who are people that can uh, help in finding the best investor, or the equity crowd fund investors uh, uh, um, that can, uh, can uh, be one of the target of this entrepreneurship uh, uh, application. The open citizen uh, activity has been developed in order to, to, um, to involve the general public to be aware and understand the market need and expectation in order to uh, identify the potential user and uh, get from them also some feedback in terms of uh, uh, optimization of the system. Uh, the dissemination of the project as required by the funding has been obtained by implementing some, uh, some strategy for public integration by using social uh, uh, internet media uh, through seminars, face-to-face uh, -face seminar and workshop, but also uh, starting interaction through the internet so that we started the brainstorming questionnaire and question and answer session also uh, in the system. Here in this last uh, um, slide, I want to just to show that the demonstrative prototype that we are building, I show you uh, its uh, uh, main design, is, should be, will be used uh, in test uh, in the lab, but finally in the real area. We have uh, they identified two um, demo application area, which is one in the amphitheater, Roman amphitheater in Casino. As you see, there are some places in which the human operator cannot go. This is an hole, and we don't know what uh, is uh, below this hole, and it can be risky for a human. Also, because this uh, area is uh, quite small and not uh, uh, enough for a human being. Likewise, in this other case, this is a, a unique pyramid in Rome that was built uh, uh, in the Roman time, and inside is not yet possible to have a continuous inspection of the system, and the, the robotic platform we are developing will be a suitable means for that. In conclusion, uh, here I present the multi-heritage robot, which is uh, a, 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 a team, a multidisciplinary team that has been developed has been worked to develop this robotic platform servicing in cultural heritage frameswork 
for uh, not only to develop a robot system, but also to look at the possibility to a practical implementation with entrepreneurial goal and transfer goal. This is me uh, with the, this first prototype, and I thank you for the attention and for any acquire and info. I shall be pleased to receive your email as well. I shall try to be online to answer to you. Thank you very much.